up. YouTube. We back in here with the Corona haircut. I don't even, I got my Corona hair. There's no cut. We in here? Oh, we in here. We live, hey. baby. Yeah, man. Jeez. We got 50 feet to do it right now. Today I'm going to be replacing a master cylinder on a 2000 Buick with Saber. I had this car for about like two months and a brake line failed and it caused the whole master cylinder to dry out. Yeah, it's funny too, cause like when I watch videos on how to do stuff, I always get upset. Like, they, oh, they missed like that information. Like, I wish I'd, I just need that part right there, you know? Right. <laughs> and like, this is still just practice for me. Yeah. Like, cause I'm not trying to be like a tutorial video, but right. I am trying to like show them, like, you know, working on, like how to work on it and shit. Yeah. But I'm not trying to be like a step by step do it for yourself right. kind of person. Uh, these fittings have three ridges. Um, it's definitely best to go over all three. That way you don't have any type of air coming through the hoses. Um, just want to just like that, snugging over the fitting. And then they just go exactly where the, where the hard lines go. And when you tighten it up, you don't want to tighten it too crazy. You also want to make sure it's going in exactly, it's threading in perfectly because this is plastic and you don't want to strip it. So I'm going to put these back on the fittings. Like I said, make sure it goes over all three. Just for safety. Um, and then you take the end of this hose and you just put it right back in here. It's good to go as far back as possible. All right. So now I'm just going to fill this with brake fluid and then I'm going to slowly push the pedal in and then out. And I'm going to have you guys watching for the bubbles so I know when it when to stop. All right, so you just want to fill this all the way to the top. Okay, so another thing too is um, when you're pushing the pedal, you don't want to you don't want to go all the way to the floor because the master cylinder has seals that if you go too far down, you can you can burst the seals open. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, I can see some bubbles. What I assume are bubbles. Yeah, I can see something that looks like bubbles. Yeah, let's switch. Right, Not a professional bubble spotter. They call me Catman doing the hood. Catman doing the hood on the brake pedal. You can see how she's, how the brake fluid is almost pulsing. And that's a good sign as the fluid is in here, as he pushes down on the brake, it gets, the fluid gets pushed through down here into these so it's pushing back through these hoses right now that go back up into here and the fluid is just being pushed back in so you don't see any air bubbles so there's no air bubbles into the hose so i'm gonna go ahead and say that she's ready to get bled from the brakes um so now we just gotta get these fittings off and connect the the hard lines um you're gonna get a little bit of leakage but it's not letting air back in so don't worry about it getting too much air in the system felix you stole my adjustable wrench you see a wrench yo i'm holding it <laughs> vice grips yeah man <laughs> i don't feel like going back to the trunk i might have to though we'll see yeah, that's a long walk man it's, it's a car. long walk right champagne view with saber this is like a 2000 or 2007 or a 2002. This could be a 1999. The back here, we got the, we got the rims. This is an aftermarket joints though. They don't make these anymore, man. See how well it holds up the snow? It ain't even crashing down. So we walked all the way back here to the trunk. Now it's, it's getting dark now. I don't know. I don't know if we got much light. But yeah, my boy likes to drive with the snow all up on the windshield, man. He's crazy. Can't see nothing, man. You drive by the spider sense. Yeah, man. You got a lot of lubricant on them fingers. Yeah, it's pretty disgusting. Yeah, man, they call them grease fingers on the head. <laughs> All right, so you just attach these back in. You don't want to force it in just like the plastics. Um, you just don't want to cross thread these or anything. You want to make sure they're, they're on there the right way before you start tightening down. And then 
Connect your sensor. Just like that. And the master cylinder is in. Success. Let's bleed these brakes now. It's good too for when we go when we go drifting at the track. Just bring all my tools in this and have the tires in this and everything. Wouldn't it be crazy if I had like a trailer connected to this though? Yeah. And we put some art on this thing too. Yo, you really yeah. feel like like yo, I I don't know like how, how long it would last, but what if we did like graffiti to this? Like practice graffiti? Yeah. You gotta do the uh gotta do the the wheel farthest away from the master cylinder first and then you work farthest to closest for for each wheel. This car don't really got a jacking point, so kind of just make it up as you go along. Hopefully it don't slip. This thing is a death trap, man. It's, look at this. This just happened, man. It wasn't like that a second ago. So you need a 10 millimeter wrench. Most cars are 10 millimeter. But for this car, it's kind of silly that it's pointing up, but whatever. This is where you want to do it. You loosen it up. So you got somebody to push the pedal uh, three. You want to do like three or four pumps just to get the air bubbles going, get it closer to the end of the car. So you want them to pump three or four times. At the last one, they hold it. You don't want to go all the way down, but you hold it. And then I'm going to loosen it, and the, the, the brake will go a little bit farther and get all the air out. And you just keep repeating that process. So you want to tighten tighten the fitting before your partner lets go of the brake. There we go. We uh, reach through this car, get the other side unlocked. It's a journey. <laughs> this snow, man, it's disgusting, man. Let me put the snow on here, man. Hey, can you hear me? Oh uh, yeah. I, I can hear you, man. Back here, I know. All right, so do the one, two, three. Don't touch the floor. And let me know. All right, here we go. One. Two, three. Uh, do it again and show them. Oh. One, two, three. So another important step, unless you're at your friend's house and you're, you know, you don't have to care about the mess. You always want to have this under the car or something that's going to catch it because brake fluid is going to be everywhere. That's good to know, man. You could have told the other camera that stuff, man. You had to come over here in my space. Acting crazy with that crazy thing that he- What the f***? I won't leave it alone, man. <laughs> Alright, go again. One, two, three. Uh, here we go. So, you see how it's like a steady flow coming out? There's no bubbles just spurting out. Uh, that's kind of how you want it. I'm just gonna do a couple more rounds just to be safe. There we go. Oh no. Yeah. The one you start at, then you go to the back side or the driver's side back. And then you go to passenger front and then driver front and you should be good. That's annoying, bro. It's super annoying. Especially that's... when you got a 200 pound jack. Yeah, and there's snow everywhere. Yeah. But you know, we do what we got to do for you guys. I know you guys need this video, so y'all got to give us a like, man. You're not getting the best, you're not getting the best angles and getting the best instructions. That's what it's about. We got two cameras. We're trying to get a third one, so we got to go buy our merch so we can afford it. Yeah, man, buy the merch. If anybody want to make merch for us to sell. <laughs> <laughs> Are we ready to pump? Uh, here we go with the pumps, y'all. The moment right here. Yeah, man. It's a long time in the making. So works. They said hard pressings. Yeah, it's not really working. Just keep pumping it. That's what they suggest. Oh yeah, that's good for you. It's getting cold out here. Mm, yes, of course, yes. We'll need a bigger wrench. And, uh, yeah, in the UK, we, uh, you know, we, everything is nice and clean. <laughs> All right, so, man, so uh, we got a, like he said, this guy with a truck said that you gotta just slam on the brakes until it gets some air bubbles out of the ABS module system. So we basically out here with no brakes, about to hit some kids. Hey, buddy. We do, we see a kid. All right, here we go. Big brakes, ABS system. It's really working though. Always got a catching point. My catching point on the brake is actually still there, but it's like, it's like sinking to the floor. So it's not, you know, it's not like, all the way. I'm gonna keep doing this stuff until I feel like I'm 
feel like we should just go back. That's what the guy on the, on the video <laughs> the said. said. I'm going to keep doing this until I feel like we have a good chance that maybe it worked. Uh, I'm going to turn that has uh, yet to be determined. We're just going to do it right here. Yeah. Bad, uh, bad influence back here. That woman over there is packing her kids away. <laughs> so it's definitely getting stiffer, but the problem is that she just feels like she just doesn't catch. She just keeps going. Like I can push her all the way to the floor if I wanted to. This is how I'm about to be practicing drifting too. So yeah, got a parking lot for like three seconds. Let's see. Just do it all the way on this road. <laughs> <laughs> you should just stare at it like, oh, that's a hell yeah. Woo! You a fire! <laughs> Yo, that was so funny. We stopped right in like her vicinity. She was just like, she wasn't playing. We locked them up good though, so hopefully I got the focus though. She just like, I feel like it, it made a difference though, so hopefully we're on the right track. Hopefully we're on the right track. Thanks, guy with the Silverado pickup truck who also had to do it for his brother's blazer. <laughs> He should have told us when that point is. You can go home, but I guess he's gonna figure it out. We'll be the ones to sell you guys. Yeah, we got half of those right now. I like it. This place to work on cars. Yeah, there you go. That's, the, that's how you do it. <laughs> we saw the kid, we were like, oh, ah, slow. <laughs> Crazy. Right. I need a shop like that, a little, little garage. Yo, look at this spice. All right, good luck. Three, two, one. <laughs> like I don't even know, maybe that does mean that the bubbles are going. Alright. We'll just do it. Well, what you do once the bubbles is, uh, is actually gone? Once you do it's that, then you gotta bleed the brakes again. Oh. Uh, Alright, well we did it a good amount of times. We're gonna do it a few more times. Yeah, I mean we did it as many times as a dude in the video anyway. My stomach is upside down. I know that. For real? And you gotta, yeah. You gotta. should you should drive it. You should do it. Maybe it'll really? help. But I'll be I'll be the one to get caught though. <laughs> you, <would. laughs> you definitely would too. You get the most angriest cop too. Yeah. You did not see that yellow kid back there? <laughs> Stop ahead? Okay. No problem. <laughs> I mean she stopped good. Like I I think that might have did it. I really hope it did. Well, at least we know it's not the Happy dog. <laughs> it's a long time coming. Yeah man. So yeah, you guys watch this video, give yourself like five, six days, and you'll have like half a break cut. You know? So this is my situation as I test out the new brakes. Snow and downhill. So that's fun. Uh the brakes are working good though. Like the catching point is where it needs to be. Um, at first it was a little bit low in the parking lot where me and James was trying it at first. Um, it was low, but it wasn't low to the point where once you get to the bottom, you locked it up. It was, it would have a catching point and you had enough room to like uh, dial your, your, your brake pressure. It's working good. I think doing that sliding stuff with ABS, locking it up, uh, I think that really helped get the bubbles out because the whole system was run dry once that brake failed and just all the fluid went all the way out. Um, so that was a new experience for me. Um, definitely figured it out and very happy.
Yeah, y'all. So <laughs> we gotta replace the master cylinder. Oh, that's too bright. Uh, <laughs> I was just like.